Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you a uh, cook with me video. Um, I'm going to be cooking keto meatloaf. So a little backstory on the keto meatloaf part of it. Um, I think it was oh, a couple months ago, something like that, my husband wanted to try doing the keto diet um, and asked if I would want to do it with him and I said yes um, and he's a little bit a lot bit more strict with it than I am he follows it a lot more closely than I do um, I on the other hand I'm a little bit more lenient with it I guess you can say so I don't follow it as strictly I cheat quite a bit but um, like dinners during the week with him and stuff I I try to follow it and like breakfast and as much as I can I stick to it but I'm not like crazy about it so um, tonight actually my husband isn't even here um, but there was a keto meatloaf recipe that I wanted to try I haven't ever tried it yet so I wanted to try it and I thought why not bring you guys along with me and I will cook it with you show you how I cook it and then I'll let you know how it is if it's even any good um, and then with the meatloaf I'm actually pairing it with corn which isn't super keto either so <laughs> there's that but um, anyways I am just gonna get started um, you may or may not notice the clock in this video and you'll probably be like nine o'clock she's cooking dinner yes <laughs> um, also a little backstory on that um, as you know already if you've watched my other videos I do have two little guys and um, today we went to the park and then we went and got ice cream and then we came home and it was starting to get too late and my phone was dead and so I wasn't able to record so I ended up just making them dinner and I wasn't super hungry anyways because I did have some ice cream um, so anyways, I'm just going to cook dinner now and then I'll give it a try before I go to bed and then, um, let you know how it is. So that's why I am cooking dinner at nine o'clock at night. <laughs> but anyways, I just want to get this video up and, and out for you guys to see. So let's just get started. Okay. So first I will start with the ingredients and what you will need for this uh, meatloaf recipe. So to start off, you will need two pounds of ground beef. Um, and then you need two eggs, a half a cup of almond flour, chopped parsley. Now the recipe doesn't really say, the recipe that I'm following, it doesn't say how much parsley to use in it so I'm just guessing it's probably um, to your liking or however much you like um, I can't really say for sure how big of a parsley person I am or how much I like it in my meatloaf I've never had it like that before so I just kind of guessed and chopped some up and I guess we'll see how it goes and then a half of an onion it didn't also say what kind of onion I just did a yellow onion so half of a yellow onion and, and the size of the onion it didn't say that either but I just went with like a medium sized yellow onion and cut it in half and chopped it up and then you'll also need um, the recipe calls for provolone sliced cheese I'm not a big provolone cheese person so I thought I would just give mozzarella cheese a try mozzarella cheese is always good so I thought it sounded kind of good on meatloaf maybe so um that's something I am switching up in the recipe too. And then you will need some type of oil. Um, the only oil that we had on hand was pure vegetable oil. I usually don't use pure vegetable oil when I do cook. Uh, I usually try to use like olive oil or something like that, but um, this is all we have. So in order to cook the onions, you need to cook it in some type of oil. So um, this is what I'm going to have to use. So those are all of the ingredients um, that you'll need for this meatloaf recipe. 
So to start off, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 450. So I'll get that started. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, cook your onions. So I'm going to just turn my burner on high to start out with here. And then I'm going to open the olive vegetable oil and I'll just put some in the pan here. Doesn't say how much you're supposed to use, so I'm just going to use whatever I think. And then you'll take your onion and toss it in there. And then it doesn't say on the recipe, it doesn't really say how long to cook them for. It just says to saute them. So um, I am just going to start sauteing them and... Uh, cooking them to my liking and then uh, I will check back with you guys all right okay guys so I am done sauteing the onions this is how they came out I will um, make sure that I drain out the oil from these um, but they had just wanted the recipe had called for them to be cool before I add them into the mixture so I just wanted to get them cool and I'll, I'll drain out that that mixture before I add it in but anyways so then the next step after you do that you're letting the onions cool into a mixing bowl so this is my mixing bowl and I'm going to mix in the two pounds of ground beef the half a cup of almond flour the two eggs the chopped parsley and then I'll add the onions too and I'll just add those last and then I'll like I said make sure I drain out the oil from them so um, you mix all of that into your mixing bowl so I'm going to do that and I will check back in I am back and I have now mixed all of the stuff that I said you had to mix together and mix that together so the next step is to put it into your meatloaf pan so I just um, it didn't tell me to do this but I just did this for my own sanity is I just put a little bit of tin foil in the the meatloaf pan and then I did spray it just a little bit with um, some spray butter stuff so um, what you do is you add this into your meatloaf pan and then you put your cheese slices on it so I'll be adding my mozzarella cheese again it didn't call for mozzarella cheese it called for provolone cheese but I'm just switching it up because I'm not a fan of the provolone so I'm gonna do that and I will be back okay I am back again so I put my meatloaf mixture into my pan and I covered it with my cheese slices um, again, the recipe doesn't say how much cheese to put on, so just put on however many slices you like. If you like a lot of cheese, put more slices. If you don't like a lot, don't put as much. Um, I just put three slices on there. Um, and then it does say to cover your meatloaf pan with um, aluminum foil, so I'm going to cover this. And then once it's covered, you put it into the oven for 50 minutes. And then you take the tin foil off of it and then you cook it for another 10 minutes until the cheese is melty and a little bit browned. So I'm going to do that and I will let you know how it all turns out. Okay guys so I um, have let the meatloaf cook with the um, tin foil over the top for 50 minutes and then I took it off for 10. Uh, when I first took the tin foil off um, it was the cheese was just really like white still and then uh, I took it off and then cooked it for 10 minutes and then it really browned uh, the cheese a lot and I didn't use a lot of cheese the recipe that I saw they clearly used a lot more cheese than I did because their meatloaf when it was cooked was like white <laughs> so you can see um, I didn't put a lot on but 
Anyways, um, this is what the finished product looks like. So I am just going to, um, my trick with this tin foil that's in the pan before I put the actual meatloaf in it is I can now just pull it out of the pan and I'm just going to set it on the plate and then I'll cut it up and then um, I'll put it on this plate which has my corn on it and um, then I'll eat off that plate obviously and then this plate will have my meatloaf on it and then I'll just wrap it up and throw it in the in the fridge. Okay, hi guys. Um, I just wanted to jump on here quick because uh, I did try the meatloaf and I think I told you in the beginning of the video that I had never made it, made this particular kind of meatloaf before, this recipe, this keto meatloaf before. Um, so I just want to let you know what I thought of it now that I've eaten it. And it is a little bit drier than meatloaf that I've made in the past. Um, it's not bad. It's, I mean, it doesn't taste bad. And it does have almond flour in it, which I've never used before. Um, so I don't really know much about almond flour and how it tastes and what it does. And I don't know, I'm not a big almond person either, but I don't know. I have no idea anything about almond flour other than that's just what the recipe called for and it must maybe have something to do with carbs and sugar or something. I'm not 100% sure on that either, but it was just a keto meatloaf recipe that I wanted to try thinking maybe it'd be a good dinner option for during the week when we're thinking of different dinners. So anyways, I just want to jump on here and say it was a little bit more dry, but it wasn't awful. It wasn't like gross. I, I mean, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to be able to eat it again, <laughs> but, um, I just want to let you guys know. So anyways, that's my review. That's my final say on the meatloaf. So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe to the video. Bye.